All right, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to consolidate some of your UTXOs, some of your smaller UTXOs, into a larger UTXO. Um, you might be doing this because you know you're doing some UTXO management and you've noticed that you've got a, a handful of smaller UTXOs that you want to consolidate together. Uh, maybe you're worried, you know, that those small ones will be hard to spend in the future if fees get too high. Um, but regardless of the reason, uh, you know, I'm just going to show you basically how to do that using Sparrow Wallet and a cold card. So in Sparrow Wallet, you're going to go to this tab, this UTXOs tab. And in this tab, you'll see all of the UTXOs associated with your wallet. This is a very useful tab for UTXO management. Um, and it's a good place to start, you know, if you're if you're trying to see what are the different sizes, what are the distribution of sizes of UTXOs that you have, and where they've all come from, if you've done a good job labeling them, right? Um, so every time I receive any Bitcoin, I always try to give it a label. In this example, you know, I've, I've kind of sent myself uh, some withdrawals from, from both Strike and Cash App. And so that's, you know, the UTXOs you see here are each individual withdrawal that I've done from either exchange. And there's one example here where I withdrew to the same address but two, on two separate occasions. So, you know, I did, I did it once last night and I did it once this morning. And you'll notice that even though I withdrew to the same address, it creates two separate UTXOs, right? And it gives you a little notification here, letting you know that you, you know, that you did that. You sent it to two, or sorry, you sent it to the same address. And so it's, you know, a duplicate address here. So that gives you a little notification. But it's an important thing to know. Um, even if you're using the same address uh, for, you know, multiple withdrawals or multiple receives of, of, of a payment, of separate payments, it's going to create different UTXOs. Okay, so let's talk about, or let's just do an example of a, uh, a consolidation of UTXOs. Let's say in this example that we want to consolidate all of our strike withdrawal UTXOs. In Sparrow Wallet, what you'll do is you'll select each of the UTXOs that you want to consolidate. So the way to do that is first you press the command button if you're using a Mac. I don't know what it would be on a PC, but it's you know probably whatever the equivalent key is for a PC. And then once that's held down, you then select or highlight each individual UTXO that you want to consolidate. Then you can release the command once you've finished doing that. With each of them highlighted, you then go down here and click Send Selected. That's going to automatically open the Send tab. tab. And for the Pay To address, you want to paste your own address. You're, you're consolidating these and sending them back to yourself. So to get that, you go to the Receive tab. You copy your next Receive address. Go back to Send. Paste it here. Create a label. So I'll say Strike Withdrawal Consolidation, just so that I know that this was a consolidated transaction for future reference. It's going to show you how much you're consolidating. So in this case, you know, a little bit over 500,000 sats. And then here's where you set the fee rate. So, you know, you can set it uh, in this way. You know, you can do a sliding scale. And, um, you know, the way that you kind of know what kind of fee rate you might want to set, you can actually open up. Uh, there's a really ne uh, neat website called mempool.space. Um, this one, it will show you, uh, you know, all the all the blocks that have been confirmed over here, and um, on the other side, it will show you all of the blocks in the mempool that have not been confirmed yet, 
But what's neat about this site is it will show you the range of transaction fees that are to be expected in the in the next few blocks. So in this next block, you know, the range of fees is between 15 and 108 Satoshis per virtual byte. And in the second to next block, you know, it's a range of it's, you know, well, basically just 15 sat fee byte. Right. And you can see that's kind of the range. There's there's a pretty thick band of of 15 sat fee byte here. So it's kind of the range for the next handful of blocks. So what this tells you is if, if you want to get a block confirmed, um, you know, in the next 10 minutes or so, you'll want to make sure that your fee rate is higher than the minimum amount here so that, you know, you get put into this next block. You might want to set it, you know, at 16 or 17 or 18 or maybe even 20 if you really want to make sure that it, that it gets, you know, in this next block. Um, so that's, you know, it's always a good site to look at whenever you're creating a transaction and setting your own fee rate. So I'm going to set this to 20 just to make sure, or around 20 just to make sure I get included in the next block. This is the fee rate that that will be. And, you know, because I'm, I don't know, I don't know why I'm this way, but, you know, I just like nice round numbers. So I'm just going to bump it up to that amount. And now we'll see. This is what the transaction looks like. So we have all of our inputs. These are the UTXOs that we selected earlier. And those will be the inputs. And then they'll be spent. So they'll, you know, once we actually send this transaction, once we broadcast it, those will now be spent, meaning they're no longer going to be UTXOs, right? They will no longer be unspent, they'll be spent. And we are going to create a brand new UTXO for ourselves. This is the consolidation UTXO that we're doing. So it's just one consolidated UTXO on the other side as the output and a small fee that we're paying, right? So it shows you the, the amount you're paying in fees. All right, so we've created the transaction. Let's click that button down there. You're gonna go to this screen. It just kind of, uh, you know, it's confirming uh, the, you know, all the, all the things that you've that you've selected there, you can finalize transaction for signing. Okay. Now here's the part where you have to actually sign the transaction. So to do that, you're going to need to put in your SD card so your computer can access it. You'll save the transaction on that SD card. Click on that so that you can go to your SD card. And we're going to save it on the SD card. Save. Now that it's saved there, we can go to Finder. And we can eject the SD card. Going back over here, pop it out. Okay. Now's the part where we take our cold card or our signing device. Okay. Pop the SD card into your signing device, and in this case, your cold card, for this example, you click on ready to sign. So it's the first option, you know, right off the bat when you start, start up your uh, cold card. Click ready to sign. It's gonna look for any transactions, um, or uh, yeah, any, any, any transaction files that are on that SD card. So it's found one, and it's gonna give you the details of that. So you'll notice that that amount there is the amount that we are consolidating. So that's correct. It's going to show you how many inputs and how many outputs there are. It's going to show you the network fee and change back. So uh, it knows that you're sending this to yourself, which is why it considers that output to be a change back. All right, it's consolidation. So you're OK. Press OK. It's going to sign it, and there you go. So now you have a signed transaction. So it's going to be on the SD card. It's going to be saved as this file. You press OK, and you're all set. So now you pop that out. Put down your cold card. Put this back into your computer. And now let's go back to the screen. 
So now we want to load the transaction that we just signed. We load it, select the signed version of that transaction that we just made, we can open that, and now it's loaded. So now we broadcast that transaction. And there we go. We just broadcasted the transaction. So if you want to see um, this transaction in the mempool, once you've broadcasted it, you can click on this button here and it will automatically open that transaction in mempool.space. So you see that, okay, it's going to be most likely included in the next block, assuming that, you know, other uh, other users don't, uh, you know, bump you out of that next block by paying higher fees. And that, that's always a possibility. But for now, it looks like it will still be included in the next block. And in this view, it shows you, um, you know, kind of similarly to uh, Sparrow, it will show you the flow of that transaction. So the inputs and the output, this is the consolidated UTXO, and the fee you paid. So it's another cool view of, of kind of seeing that, and you can watch this and wait for it to confirm. Uh, so that's always fun once that happens. Well, let's go back to Sparrow, and let's go to uh, the UTXOs section here. So now you'll notice all of our strike UTXOs have been consolidated, right? Now, of course, this UTXO isn't confirmed yet, but the wallet's going to recognize it, and you know, one of the, you know, uh, you, you see it here. It's still in the mempool, so it lets you know that um, this is the amount of, you know, of, of Satoshi to have in the mempool, unconfirmed. Um, but you know, your your total ba balance is still up here, and that includes however much you have in the mempool. All right, and there we go. It just confirmed. If we go back over here, this should go over now once this updates. <laughs> or wait. Oh, yeah, why is that always going on? Oh, there we go. Boom. Confirmed. All right. So now it's in the blockchain forever. So going back to Sparrow, um, you know, if we look at the transactions, we'll see that the most recent transaction is that consolidation transaction. And it, if you open it up, you'll see here all of the inputs that you put in and then the output that you received. And then the reason why it is a slightly negative balance here in terms of its value is because that's the fee that you paid, right? Um, so that's what that looks like. This is what a consolidation transaction looks like in your transactions tab. Um, and that's it. So now, you know, I've just consolidated a bunch of smaller UTXOs. I've received a larger one. And again, if we go back to the UTXOs tab, you'll see now we have much fewer UTXOs, um, only one now belonging to our strike withdrawals, and it is, you know, a larger one now. So this UTXO should be good to go for any future high fee environment we might find ourselves in. So that's it. If you have uh, you know any questions in terms of uh, UTXO management or UTXO consolidation, feel free to reach out um, or, or comment on this post. I'll be making a series of you know more tutorials, I think, moving forward on you know how to use Sparrow in a few different ways, especially with cold card. I know that a lot of people have transitioned over to using a cold card instead of other signing devices. <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to try to make a few more tutorials just to kind of show how, how to use it and, and some best practices when using Sparrow and Cold Cart together. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for, for some future tutorials that I'll make.